this tutorial is going to be exploring slide options a little bit more in detail uh, unlike the previous class that I gave uh, I want to show you more effects that slide options can actually do for you uh, if you can see on this on the timeline that we already have a project to run in uh, we're gonna go ahead and select one of the uh, slide and double click double click and looking at this uh, new window that comes up all right from the left side you have the slide options and you have slide settings all right you have the slide style and moving down uh, as a matter of fact let's see the slide settings has uh, looking on the right side of course it's always displayed the picture and you, when you move to the bottom of it it's a slight timing it has different features all right that you can click on to make a transition creating transition reset slide and all so forth and so on all right when you move down and you go to the slide style the slide styles has a uh, has a lot of uh, different effects uh, some of them are actually built into the pressure producer a majority of them are plugins that you can buy from the photodex website and they are uh, uh, like what I have presently installed to my computer I'm trying to see if I could track everything right now I have 1612 categories of slide uh, of uh, slide template or uh, slide style that I can use as effect uh, as I can use as effect for uh, the pictures uh, 1612 all right and uh, we can scroll through them and see how each of these different effects actually apply and that is pretty cool that is one of my very best effects you know uh, but without wasting much time uh, moving down you have captions this is where you had test all right you can look at my test tutorials how to do this had in test to to your project so we're just gonna go ahead and remove that uh, and at the bottom you have layers all right the layers is where all the slides this last time when you all the different effects that it gives you all right the layer basically shows you how many pictures do you have in your project all right and sometimes you may have one picture depending on the type of slide style that you apply it might uh, either duplicate that one picture and add some black um, blank background to the effect uh, so without wasting time what I really want to show you today is I'm just giving you a quick introduction to all the different uh, sections and buttons that you are looking at but what I really want to show you today is nothing none of this uh, just a uh, part of it so let's go ahead and double click one more time come on now let's go all right what I want to show you all right let's go down to layers layers when you get to layers all right uh, depending on the type of effect uh, slide style that you select all right for this purpose we have vintage 10 single one and after you apply the effect as you can see 
uh, let's play the effect for you that we currently have play by pressing the space button all right this is the effect that we currently have just like that it comes in and go it only play for like uh, two seconds I'm gonna make it five seconds all right now let's go back to double click to open up the window to edit go to layers all right and as you can see at the top at the top right here you have the layer settings all right you have the adjustments and you have the effects now what I'm gonna I'm gonna spend more time on the effect side of this the layer settings you can play around with that and see what uh, how that will benefit you from adjusting it uh, and the adjustment also uh, you can make adjustments and it, as you can see uh, mess around with it but let's go into effect all right now the effect has a lot of things that you can do all right as you can see uh, on the right side where it says adjustment uh, the blob button when you, you you can blow the video you can blow it out all right because right now you don't even know that you have all the pictures beneath you know that particular record and as you blow it out you see okay there's another picture that is under it all right now you can sharpen you can sharpen you see how sharpen that was it's way more clear but in most cases I'm not gonna recommend you give it 100% it was a 0% before you can give it like 50 all right and of course the opacity uh, you see that it, it goes out completely and keep in mind that we what we are adjusting is the very first one all right once you go to the second one you can do the same thing you can blow that out all right you can sharpen this also so what i recommend is we're working on the first one so we can go ahead and finish on that and the same thing anything you want to adjust or anything you want to do just go through this and say how it affects you uh, y axis is 105 you see how it adjusts that if you adjust it and you click ok and you can play it and see the type of effect that you have you see it's completely different from what we have before and i think this is very cool and you see it's completely different from what we had before uh, and that's that's one thing I, I wanted to show you that there's a lot you can do with with uh, see how beautiful that is you double click on it so there is no cracking of brain as to what this is just messing with the buttons you know at the best of your imagination you don't have to read a book on this or this is what i want just mess around with the buttons and see what you come up with and just click ok uh, uh, if you do anything and you don't like it just click ctrl z it will undo what you did before and if you like it and go back and do ctrl y and it will redo it uh, your choice you know so 
that is one thing i want to show you about effects in slide options all right uh, you see it's a lot of buttons here it's a lot of buttons there it's a lot of buttons there so uh, it's up to you and, and when it comes in you can adjust the effect on how it comes in right here it says cut the transition was cut you can put a new transition you know that's how it comes in and how you want it to fade out you can put a completely different transition and it shows right there if you click on play and that is the new transition we got boom just that easy and now instead of having just just this transition you have a transition built in inside here beside this one and this one you equally have transition built in onto the video timeline right here play excuse me sneezing and look at that you have double transitions all right one at the beginning of the video one at the end of the video and then you have another transition taking over moving you over to the to the next video where I, i'm hoping that you actually learn something from this what i really need you to learn from this is click on that and go to layers and once you get inside layers keep in mind keep in mind you go to slide style depending on how many pictures is available here if you don't know for instance let's click on no picture click ok I mean no style click ok as you can see the original picture is just one all right so you click on slash style apply the style that you want any style that you want apply it but you want to make sure that your style is for one picture so i'm going to click on this for instance and i'm going to click apply style click ok As you can see the changes will take place here you see how it creates so many pictures and that's what we have all right and as you can see there's a lot of pictures there that you, you if you want to mess around with this it's a lot to mess around with but before you start messing around you want to play what is in there and see what it looks like that's what you have right now all right once you want to go in there and start messing with it there is some that you, you don't want to mess around with especially when it has so many like this so much like this you just want to leave it at the default you know but in the situation where it has like two or three then that is when you can mess with it because this is a little bit too complex to mess around with you might end up with a, a, a very undesirable result so i would not as advise you to mess with that at all so where well, you do understand the main purpose of this tutorial uh just to let you know that inside layers there are effects that you can use and to adjust all right and at this time this conclude uh, this conclude this tutorial I hope you do learn something I think I'm catching on cold ah uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and do have yourself a wonderful day night evening any part of the world you are wish you the best all right thank you and bye bye